Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you, our respected viewers, and welcome to a new episode of the Beliefs of Islam. This is Hassan Hadi, and in today's episode, we will consider an example of non-Quranic miracle of the Holy Prophet of Islam. As has been previously stated in the past two episodes, due to several presuppositions and methodological fallacies, there exist within the modern world several camps, both Muslim and non-Muslim, alike who, in analyzing the life of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, upon his pure family, have sought to invalidate the existence of miracles from his prophetic mission, with the exception of the Holy Quran. We have already analyzed certain of the assumptions which motivate such a fallacious theory and narrative, yet we have not engaged with why such an assumption is firmly rejected by the traditional Muslims and particularly the followers of the Ahlul Bayt We do accept that the biographers of the Holy Prophet of Islam, those who gather details of his life and those who wrote the books which have traditionally become sources for understanding who our Holy Prophet is, have also included lots of blatant and horrific fabrications due to a heavy political bias and early attempt to overthrow the personality of the Holy Prophet of Islam by hypocrites who numbered heavily immediately after the death of the Holy Prophet of Islam. What we argue here is that through reliable and trustworthy means of those closest to the Holy Prophet of Islam, we have examples of the reliable miracles which are historically trustworthy on the basis of the testimony of the transmitters. Now one such example is narrated by the first Imam, the commander of the faithful, Imam Ali alayhi salam, who narrates in the work Nahjul Balagha, Sermon 191, the Imam narrates the following. I was with him, meaning the Prophet, when a party of the Quraysh came to him and said to him, O Muhammad, you have made a big claim which none of your forefathers or those of your family have ever made. We ask you one thing, if you give us an answer to it and show it to us, we will believe that you are a prophet and a messenger as well. But if you cannot do it, we will know that you are a sorcerer and a liar. The messenger of Allah said, what do you ask for? They said, ask this tree to move from us, even with its roots, and to stop before you. The Prophet said, Verily, Allah has the power over everything. If Allah does it for you, will you then believe and stand witness to the truth? They said yes. Then he said, I shall show you whatever you want, but I know that you won't bend towards virtue, and there are among you those who will be thrown into the pit, and those who will form parties against me. Then the Holy Prophet said, O tree, if you do believe in Allah the Almighty, and the day of judgment, and know that I am the Prophet of Allah, come up with your roots and stand before me with the permission of God the Almighty. By him who deputed the Prophet with the truth, the tree did remove itself with its roots and came with a great humming sound and a flapping like the flapping of the wings of birds till it stopped before the Messenger of God while some of its twigs came down onto my shoulders and I was on the right side of the Holy Prophet of Islam. When the people saw this, they said, by way of pride and vanity, now you order half of it to come to you, and the other half of it refrain in its place. The Holy Prophet ordered the tree to do the same. Then half of the tree advanced towards him in an amazing manner and with a greater humming. It was about to touch the Prophet of Allah. Then they said, disbelieving and revolting, ask this half to get back to its other half and be as it was. The Prophet ordered it, and it returned. Then I said, O Prophet of God, I am the first to believe in you and to acknowledge that the tree did what it did just now with the command of God, this sublime and testimony to your prophethood and to hiding your word. Upon this, all the people shouted, rather a sorcerer, a liar. It's wonderful sorcery. He's a very adept in it. Only a man like this pointing to me, meaning Imam Ali, can stand testimony to you in your affairs. This is for today. Until we meet with the new episodes, thank you very much indeed for being with us. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.